Son of the Beast is an arcade adventure with an emphasis on action. The combat system is something that hopefully people will be able to really engage with and hardcore players will be able to get a lot of depth out of while they explore this alien world that we've created with Karamu. You play the role of a character called Arbron. He's a, a war machine. He's been created to kill things as a soldier for an evil mage called Malatoth, um, whose henchman Zelik controls you through the first level. Once you're free of his control though, that's when you have to go on this adventure that goes across all these different environments and places that make up the world of Karamoon. Your skill is paramount to success, where timing and split-second decision-making is paramount to getting that great sense of achievement that comes out of mastering a, uh, the slaughter of enemies. For those who don't know, Shadow of the Beast is based on a game that I played when I was a kid. It was uh, from a company called Reflections uh, and it was published by Psygnosis. This game is very much building on that legacy we wanted to make sure we captured the sort of vibrancy that was in the original title. Early on we decided that every single level was going to be visually different and the gameplay on each one was going to be different and all the creatures were going to be different. And so the challenge on all of them would be different. With the difficulty we had to walk a very fine line. Uh, the original game had a reputation for being very hard. Uh, and we wanted to make sure that this was pretty challenging if you wanted it to be. On the easier difficulty level, uh, it gives you a lot of support. There's a lot of help there for you to be able to just pick up and carry on and enjoy it. And it's a great way to just explore the combat system and, and the depth of the game. But if you really want to get into it, you're going to have to play it on beast difficulty. And that's quite brutal. <laughs>